Hi, and welcome back to Shannon Vlogs. Today I'm reacting to a video entitled Tana Mojo Faked Her Entire Wedding. Now whether this is true or not, I don't know. But I thought I'd check out this video and see what the haps are. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. And let's jump right into the video. And here we go. Let's spell that T. Since Tana announced a wedding with Jake Paul, most logical people assumed it was 100% fake. Although Tana stands by the fact that her and Jake are very real and in love. I'm feeling feisty. I don't care if you think my wedding's real. I don't care if you think my marriage is real. I don't care if you think Jake and I don't love each other. Most logical people still have their doubts. Tana, we know the wedding was just for views, clout, and you don't have to lie. The wedding day. Most weddings involve family, friends, and a celebration of love. While Tana's wedding looked like it involved YouTubers, more YouTubers, and the celebration of clout. And don't worry, if you weren't one of the 1,000s of YouTubers invited to the wedding, you could watch the whole thing on live stream. For fifty dollars. Yeah, you had to pay fifty dollars to check out the wedding. Found out that Tana Longest can someone just live stream Tana's wedding because I really can't pay fifty dollars to watch her ass get married. <laughs> Sorry about my language. It also wouldn't have been a Tana Mojo wedding without a fight breaking out in true Tancon. So, okay, let's see what this is. Someone just threw a glass of champagne at Jake and I and I at the blank. Alter, holy blank, ha <laughs> ha. Jana, don't need no press. Wow, just married. Honestly, made it better. To slow dance while they scream, I love you at Jake Paul. Hello, Tana Paul. I now pronounce by the power vested in me, you may kiss the bride. Apparently we'll avoid me seeing the fight. Oh my lord. Really? This was certainly not the kind of wedding I would want to have. I forgot I was wearing my glasses. I don't usually like to wear them because of the glare. Don't worry, though. It turns out the fight was as fake as their wedding. A guest at the wedding said he had to leave after hearing a fight was planned because it wouldn't be safe for his baby to be there. Okay, so to be completely honest with you guys, the reason why we left is because we heard there was a fight, a plotted fight that was going to go down. So it's like, we can't be there with our baby, are you kidding me? There was a lot of great people there, a lot of great faces to support this thing tonight um, and the whole squad. But, you know, it's just, it, it just, it's not safe, you know, like there's potential for the baby to even fall in the pool or something, you know what I mean? Dangerous. Yeah, she it, but... It was crazy. You never know. It wasn't worth it. Jake and Tana also went their separate ways after the wedding. Jake Paul was also spotted without Tana after the wedding. You have two other females. How is Jake Paul going to marry Tana in the night of their wedding post- Strippers on his story in the hotel room. Joe Paul let strippers post on the story right after the wedding while he was laying on the ground with his pants undone. Sounds like the day was YouTube perfect. <coughs> the proof. 
It's being speculated that the person who married Tana and Jake isn't even licensed to do so, meaning the marriage isn't even legal, a.k.a. it's fake. To make the situation even worse, before Tana's story, an episode of Tana Turns 21 aired this week. Something she said during the episode, have the, her fans thinking twice about this marriage. If I thought Tana was actually going to legally marry Jake, I would obviously be freaking out. Something fun and lighthearted that we're obviously doing for fun and for content. Jake and I aren't officially exclusive, so for me, I guess we would just take the openness from our relationship into the openness of marriage. Hannah quickly responded to try and clear the air so people would still believe her. <laughs> Professionals for the show a long time ago. The for fun and content soundbite was from a very long sentence like my and was a little salty to see pulled out of context. I understand, though, that MTV has their own creative and that these episodes are airing very late, especially. <laughs> don't know if I buy that or not. In timing with the wedding, I am not tripping. I know that things have moved so fast, are unconventional and confusing, but I love Jake. I try, I truly do, in the weirdest, blanking way. Every second of this roller coaster ride has been so fun and crazy. I hate that it'll probably always come. With only people, some explanation, especially with so many things coming out like the show, which is quite, yeah. Ooh, Erica Costell. If you still aren't convinced that the wedding is fake, what if I told you Jake's done this before? Jake Paul and his now ex Erica Costell pretended to get married also. Their wedding brought in over 30 million views. Their wedding fake marriage pulled in a lot of views to their channels. Wow, 3.9 million. Jerrica gets remarried. So is it really that shocking that Jake Paul and Tana would attempt the same thing again? Anything for clout. What do you guys think about this situation? Do you think Jake and Tana are actually married? Or is the wedding as fake as beauty guru friendships? Let me know in the comments down below. And that is going to wrap up this video. I don't know. Honestly, with everything I've seen with the little bit of footage of their wedding, I honestly think it was fake. For one thing, the guy they married on was one of Jake's best friends. Good friends, and I don't think he is has a license to marry them. I don't know. And just what she said on her show, Tana turning 21. And the fact that Jake was with two other girls on his wedding night with his pants undone. Now, I understand that they supposedly have an open relationship, but to do that on our wedding night, to me, seems a little fishy. But I don't know for sure. But whatever the situation, I wish Tana and Jake all the best. And, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And make sure you go follow my Twitter and Instagram. I'll have the links in the description. Go check out Mitchell Halachuk at his channel, Mitchell Reacts. Go check out his Twitter and Instagram, I'll have those links in the description. And go check out his merch at teespring.com slash store slash Mitchell React. I'll have that link in the description. And just remember, stay strong, stay you, stay beautiful, stay blessed. And I will catch you in the next vlog. Peace out. I've been fucking nosing, popping pillies, man, I feel it's like a rock